Hey, Sneaky Lunks back. Yeah, back again. Another video. Yeah, had enough of streaming for a bit. Right, this is Ghost BSD 11.1, the XFCE variant. Okay, I've actually had it installed for about two weeks, okay, in a virtual machine, and on and off on real hardware for about four weeks, okay. I will tell you all about that in a moment. Okay. Long story. But as you know, it's Unix based, but it is not Linux, okay? It's not Linux. That's all I'm going to say to you. Not Linux. Similar, but not. Not. Similar, similar, not. But I thought, the last time I did GhostBSD was quite a few years ago, and I thought, I'll give it another go, because I tried Pure OS the other night, and it just. It just wasn't cutting it, really, for a BSD distro or distribution. Before, I've used it before, don't get me wrong, I've used it before under its previous name, and it was fantastic. Okay, not the most sprightly distro in the whole world, but it was good. Okay, it worked because I do things different ways. And I tried it about six weeks ago on real hardware. No, just weren't happening. Not, not on my current new hardware. Remember, I've got a uh, i7 5960 and a Ryzen 7 Biggie, okay? 1800 as well now. Yes, I've not put it... Actually, I did try to put it on the Threadripper. Didn't want to know. Nah, it just couldn't do it. Now, I think what I'm going to have to do is upgrade all my motherboards for the current um, stuff, really. They just need upgrading. I will get round to that, so don't worry about that. But it would be nice, though, wouldn't it? Because I really want to get a puppy on Fred Ripper. That would be weird. Anyway, back to Ghost BSD. Actually, I've had quite a fun time using it. I ain't going to lie to you. Not at all. I ain't going to lie to you. It's actually rather fast. It's actually rather fast in the box. Because you know sometimes you get a distro, you run it in the box, and it's like a bit sluggish and stuff like that. Not this one. No, not this one. Once you get it all updated. I tried to update it today, and um, there was a complete system update. Yeah, it only took about a minute and a half. It was super. I loved it. Okay. So anyway, it's their own version of XFCE. Okay. So what I want to do, we we'll click here. It's the panel. About the panel. Yeah. Four, twelve, two. That suits me. Yeah. Most current. Now, what you will find if you're using a BSD distro, some things you won't be able to find. Okay. Because they need a separate maintainer. Uh, like open. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll go and find one for you now. Go to multimedia. I've got open shot here, but there is no current maintainer. Okay, so this is an old version, but it does work. Okay, and if you know, you can go and do. I think you do 1080 in this one, so that should be super fine. It does work. On the other hand, if you want to do higher end work, we'll go back to multimedia again. Caden Live is here. Yeah. Okay, and I here. I'm a couple of bits missing. I must install these. I need to install LibDV, so I must do that one as well in a minute. When we finish the video. But there's all these resolutions available for you. All these resolutions. Yeah. So you can do 4K 60 frames a second if you've got the hardware. Now, I would say if you want to try it at 60 frames a second, this should be fantastic. Okay. So I need to get that as well. And that, uh, no, I'm not really worried about Firewire Capture personally. I need to install WFmpeg and WF Play. I'll do that when I finish the video, that's fun. But yes, you can do it, no problem whatsoever, and render it in whatever you want to. Okay. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this on an old uh, bulldozer processor because that should be all supported and hunky dory, and we'll see how we get on with that. I won't do a video on it. But I'll just tell you how we get along at the end of the day. Okay. Anyway, what'd you get? A nice desktop, a super fast distro. Okay. Can I call it a distro? Is it a distribution? Because it's BSD. When we, in Linux, we call them distributions. What do you call a BSD distribution? Yeah, it's a distribution. Isn't it? So you've got free BSD, Ghost BSD, Open BSD, Pure OS, and a few others as well that I can't actually remember. So what we'll do. Here's one of the problems, okay? So Firefox is your default browser. Now, I must say, this might be because... 
I go to the BBC, it's just the way it's rendering. Can you see? It's a bit choked up. A bit choked up. If I move my wheel or my mouse, it's fine. Then it goes back. So there's sank a little bit wrong there, isn't there? Just sank a little bit wrong. Hmm, I don't know. If I go to YouTube, okay. I'm gonna pause it. Pause that. It doesn't like pausing either. So that's a hardware issue, isn't it? So that's the YouTube main page. Now, apparently I might have to show you about five seconds of a video and there's no sound, okay? So if I put in a video here. So, major system error by the Marmosettes. I'm gonna show you five seconds of the video. It plays videos beautifully, you ready? So I'm gonna count the seconds. Play super fine, and you're gone. Okay. Fantastically, you can't hear the audio, so I won't get told off. <sighs> Fantastic. But it does play perfectly. The only thing was, as I went back there, if I open Firefox again, I'm going to back to the Bebe Kerr. I just don't like the rendering. And when you use the mouse button, look, it just does that. It just, that's got to be sorted. But if I don't do this video, the guys are not going to know. Because I'm not the sort of guy that probably... I'm not going to use BSD all the time, really. I'm not going to use it all the time. So if they can get the information from me that that's what's happening, and they see the video, hopefully they get it. So maybe I should make more time to go and give them some feedback, really. That could be my problem, couldn't it? Doesn't use too much RAM. Doesn't use much CPU either, by the way. What else we got here? Okay. By default, we've got a nice little menu. It's still not right, but remember, we are in the box. On real hardware, it may be different. So when I get on the old uh, bulldozer, I'll let you know, okay? So, if I go to graphics, I've actually installed Gimpage, but you get all the rest as is. So that's quite good, really. See what I mean? Now, I've not pre-clicked this. You know, sometimes you can pre-click it and it loads into RAM. I've not done that. That's straight out of the drive. Fantastic. I like it. So if we do something else, uh, multimedia again, and we go to say, um, ooh, Clementine. Five, four, three. It's there already. Now I've got no music here, obviously, because it's in the box. But it's really, really quick. So I can't actually wait to get it on the, an older system. Or just update these balls quickly and get it done. One or the other. Okay. Under accessories, all the usual. Compton is here. Yeah, mouse pad, all the usual. Orage. Plank, right. In virtualization, Plank actually creates a problem. So I'm not going to click on it because it will create a really bad problem. Plank appears down here, and then you get a line across the screen over every single screen. So that's one little problem. Uh, task manager, so look. Ooh. So remember, I've only set for four cores here. I'm not using much CPU whatsoever, am I really? Sometimes when you're using a Linux-based distro and you're running it in the box without any drivers, this goes up to about 50%. No, not here, not in GhostBSD. No, it's not doing it. No, not doing it whatsoever. Oh, no. I'll, I'll go back to their package, man. That's what I'm going to show you. Look at the system. And we go to Octo Package or Octo Package. Yeah, what's my password? Okay. Now, all I will say, if you're going to use this, move it up a bit, just give it a bit of time. Don't rush it too much, okay? Don't rush it too much. Because when I booted it up again, yesterday was the first time I booted it up for a couple of weeks. Uh, I was trying to install a certain program and nothing would happen, and all of a sudden there was a complete system update. The system update, as I said before, didn't take any time whatsoever. So anyway, it's basically just like synaptic, really, at the end of the day. So if we put in... I've already installed VLC. Abbey Word is an easy one, isn't it? If I could spell... So Abbey Word's there. So we want to install that, don't we? So if we right-click here and click Install. And it comes here. If I go to Info, it will tell you what it is. Just a word processor. Yeah. So we apply. We're going to apply. And off it should go. You can run it in a terminal. Do you want to do that? Yes, no. It's seven megabytes. Let's go. 
and I'll get a quick drink of apple juice while I'm waiting. Mm. Thank you. See, it does things quite a lot differently. So that's done. Completely done. So I'll come out of that. I'm going to go back into our menu. Well, actually, we could actually right click this top and go that way. So we go down to Office, Abbey Road is here. I don't even know what version it's going to be. Should we have a look? It's now, oh, I hope it's an older version. Oh, it's 301, so it's, that's fine. Although I don't like the theme, personally. But you can change that to whatever you want to. So that's super. What else was I going to show you about it? Uh, there's quite a bit, actually, and I forgot a lot of it. Uh, yeah, I've installed Audacity. Works fine, okay. Alright, okay. Now there is one of the big letdowns. I understood Chromium. Chromium. Click on Chromium. And then once all this bloody stuff. Look, I hate these key ring things. They get right on my nerves. So, it's going to call me a liar now, isn't it? So if I go to the Bubba Kerr, and I open up Home, let's see if it happens this time. When I click on Continue, what started to happen... Do you see, it's done it again. So obviously I've done some updates that have sorted it. What happened was, I've been in the bubba curve, let's say if I go to a full screen, go, no, go full screen now, see what happens now. Go put it there. Yes, it's done it now. It's split screen and it's really difficult to get out of. There's something amiss there too. So what I'll do, I'll go right click up there and close it. That's one of the pains. But, but you can't have everything. I mean, these guys basically work for free. Come on. They work for free. So don't moan at them too much. I mean, they've just got to work out, okay? Uh, what's it? Oh, what's it? Uh, yeah, we've done that. We've done that. XF Burn is your default burning program here. Internet. Uh, what else? Hex Chat here. So you can join into the forum. I joined earlier. There was nobody there from the IRC. Bit of a pity because I would like a little chat. But multimedia. Oh, X How is your basic music stuff? Yeah, I know. I still come in. Adjust all your Pulse Audio stuff. Office, as I said before, the full Office Suite. Not just bits of it, we get the full Office Suite. I don't know if you've installed a distro recently, and it says LibreOffice, and you only get Writer and, and um, Calc, and that's it. And you have to install the bits yourself. The whole suite should be installed, and this is like sm a small distro, like, or a puppy-based distro. Yeah. But on the whole... I really like it. I really, really do. I really do. Could I go for it full time? Probably not. But I will give it a go. Once the bulldozer system's up and running, we'll give it a go on the older hardware. Or if the uh, motherboard BIOSes or UEFIs, should I say, update correctly, maybe it'll run perfectly then. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, Ghost BSD 11.1 XFCE 64 bit. It's nice, mate. It's nice. Go and give it a go, guys. You'll like it. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye, mate. <laughs>